folks, welcome back to another Marvel Legends review. We're going to look at The Punisher. This one just came in today for me from uh, popculture.com.au. They're based over in Victoria. Um, yeah, this is a set I've been looking at for a little while um, and finally got it. Um, I'm really, really excited about this one. It looks great. It's just such a nicely displayed uh, set. Um, so we've got Frank Castle there with his with his motorbike, switch out head, a helmet, a range of weapons. So he's got a big blade and a baseball bat, sawn off shotgun, and a couple of like semi-automatic weapons there. I don't know what all the weapons names are. I'm sure someone will let me know. But yeah, just really nicely presented. I love the big Punisher logo, the Legends series at the top there. On top we have the skull. On each side we have a picture of Frank. Pretty much the same on each side. Just flipped. And on the back, a really nice photo there of Frank on his motorbike. Right up there, Frank Castle rides through the night dispensing brutal vigilante justice. And then, yeah, we get a little look at uh, bits and pieces there. Got the little number plate there, Punish 616. There's a nod to the, uh, nod to the universe, Earth 616. So yeah, I'm, I've just been sitting here for a couple of hours now while I just, you know, do a few other bits and pieces before I get around to recording it. So I've been, itching to open this one up, so I'm gonna do that right now and we'll be right back. All right, folks, here's everything out of the box. This is, <laughs> I'm just such, so stoked with this set. I'm blown away. Really, really like this one. I don't know why I waited so long to pick this one up. Such a nice ver version of the of the figure. This is the first sort of Marvel Legends Punisher I've had, aside from uh, the Netflix Punisher from a few years ago, which is a figure I no longer have, unfortunately. I would have liked to have, uh, Held on to that in hindsight, but uh, you know, that's that's part of part of collecting. Sometimes we've got to, you know, move a collection to fund a collection. Um, so you will start with the motorbike, uh, and I'll put the uh, handlebars on in a moment. So nicely molded, nice detail. The sort of rubber rubber tires are good. I like they're actually gone with like a clear plastic for the for the headlight there. That looks good as opposed to just a sticker. Uh, this is obviously the side that everything is you know, screwed in, manufactured. Again, that number plate, New York City. Punish 616. So that's cool, I like it. And there is a little, little peg on the back there. I'm not sure where that's for, whether this has been uh, used before in another figure, I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, what are those pegs on the side? I, again, I have no idea. Um, but yeah. Oh, here's the handlebars. Of course, there's the speed gauge. Three eight three seven eight. He's a uh, Racked up a few miles on this bike. Let's <laughs> just say that's a lot of miles for a, for a bike. But um, yeah, it looks pretty good. I like it. I think that's good. We'll stand will flick up, which is nice. I'll put that back down just for the whole soul purposes of this video. We can keep it sort of sat up. Uh, Weapon-wise, it does have the sword off shotgun, which looks good. I assume it's sword off. I don't know. I, I'm not a I'm not a weapons person. <laughs> just looks like a short shotgun to me. This one too. 
there's no shortage of weapons that comes with this one, which is great. And the, the big machete. To the bat. And then we get the helmet, which looks good. Fits very nicely on the head. Pretty much a perfect fit there. Looks good. And uh, we'll get a look at this head sculpt before I do the switch. So we'll zoom up and take a look. So this one, you know, sort of patched himself up. Yeah, really nicely done, nicely sculpted, nicely painted too. Looks a little bit sort of red under the eyes. I don't know if my light's sort of shining that out. He's a little bit, a little bit worse for wear. Well, we know he can handle it. So yeah, next up is the uh, sort of more stoic, sort of unbeaten face. Let's see how easy that is to do a swap on. Not too bad, nice and tight. But yeah, definitely be, definitely be keeping him with this head at the moment, I think. I just, I don't know, I like it a lot. It's a cool outfit on the body. You've seen, there's been a lot of punishes over the years. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I've got this one. This one's really good. Again, got the new pinless tech on the arms, so you don't have the big circles. Now the legs, not so much. They've obviously used these again, probably from numerous figures, knowing Marvel Legends, you know, there's you know, a lot of characters that wear like jeans or boots, pants like that, pretty simple stuff. It does have this little piece with some clips in it on the side there. That looks to be removable if you wanted to. Um, I think it looks I think it looks fine on there. So I'll leave that on there. No doubt that has been used before on other figures. Got the fingerless gloves. So you no know swap of their hands for this figure, but that's okay because he's pretty much going to be armed up at all times anyway. It does have this sort of shoulder holster strap thing around the back. That looks good. Fits nicely. Articulation feels good, nice and strong. Nothing's going anywhere. It's such a cool figure. I really like this one. Skulls painted on there nicely. Again, move the articulation up, it stays longer. And it all lines up very nicely when you move that, move that around. So that's cool. Yeah, really nicely done. All right, let's arm him up and uh, see how he looks. All right, so I've got him in a pretty simple pose here, just sort of resting on the bike. Um, yeah, really cool stuff. Well, I love the look of this guy. Again, you sort of fiddle around with it for a little bit longer and, uh, you know, really perfect it. Get him sitting on it, riding it. Helmet on. Just awesome. Really, really big fan of this figure. I love it. Never usually a big sort of fan of like motorcycles and accessories like that. Um, you know, it's just me with my sort of Marvel stuff. I'd rather just have the character on his own, but this one, you know, perfect. Just such a good, good set. Really, really like it. I hope you've enjoyed checking out this review of the Punisher, Frank Castle and his motorbike. It's pretty sweet. 
So thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you on another video real soon. Yeah.